influencer in the wild. Hello, Aaron has things to say about trees. It's a Michael Bay show. Oh. <laughs> it's bloody cold today. It's so cold. So cold. Let's get moving. Yeah. Let's get warm. Okay. I'm moving. I'm not warm. Can I pee? You were just saying that we need to look at maybe doing some exercise. Well, this is exercise. Yeah. Come on now. Let's go. Wait. Come on. We wanted exercise. Come on. Come on. This is what I have to put up with. No. It's bad for my knees. <laughs> we see here the influencer in its natural habitat. Late into the winter months. It is not only cold, but it had his winter coat on. It'll be shedding that soon in the spring. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello, Aaron has things to say about trees. Get ready for fascinating facts with Aaron. So when somebody plants like an oak forest, they plant it with the knowledge that they're never going to be around to see it being harvested. Thanks for listening. It's a Michael Bay shot. I want lens flares in there, something exploding. <laughs> Walk done. It was freezingly bitterly cold when we came out. Yeah. The sun's come out a little bit, which has helped, but now we've done a proper good brisk walk. I feel quite warm, toasty. Yeah, me, I feel all right. My hands aren't numb anymore, so that's good. Cool. Lou's super busy, working away, doing loads of editing. I've been in meetings all day long, so I am uh, not had anything to eat at all today because of the, the whole fasting thing and everything, but I've got to the point of where it's now quarter past three and we're thinking about something to eat for dinner. The cupboards and the fridge is looking a little on the bare side, so I've literally just grabbed bits and stuff and I'm going to create something. The first thing that popped into my head was just make a chilli and we can have like chilli cheese fries. I believe Lou's cooked some before and you can find recipes in cards that all appear somewhere around here or wherever the YouTube thing goes. So meet the pressure cooker and say hi. This is um, pressure cooker from Sage. It's pretty darn awesome actually for cooking all sorts of stuff. It's a slow cooker and a pressure cooker. And if you've never used a pressure cooker before, I highly recommend. But anyway, first of all, I've got it on sear at the moment. So it's nice and hot in there. And I'm gonna throw in the, uh, the steak mints and just give it a brown. Always gives a better flavor to your, to your chilies. So this might not be a sin-free chilli, but it's not quite a sinful chilli. Hopefully it will be somewhere in the middle. But I'm going to brown the mince first, and then I'm going to take that out, and I'll brown the onions to give it some more flavour. And then what I'll do is I'll put it all back in again, and I'll add some flavouring, some spices and some herbs and things like that, just to give it that chilli kick. So sometimes I find that mince can be a little bit grey and flavourless. So if you get rid of that water first and then give it that brown crust on it, you'll get much, much more flavour and a much nicer, they call it fond, uh, in the bottom of the pan, which gives you gravy really, that's what we're looking for. So put the pot back in, I'm not going to clean it or anything like that, I'm just going to bung the onion straight in. And then I'll give them a bit of a fry.
looking a little bit dry and tight in there at the moment, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water just to loosen it up just a touch. Looks good. I mean, in all fairness, that's ready to eat now. But trust me, give it some time and you'll thank me for it. It's taking me about 10 minutes or so to put that together. I'm going to shut the lid, let it sit, let it do its thing, and we'll come back to that and eat it later. If you come up with any recipes that you think are absolutely amazing for chili, then let me know because I'd be really interested to find out. I've just finished my work that I was doing and Aaron's in a meeting, so I thought I'd construct dinner. The chili that he's made is finished, so let's check it out. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. What I've decided to do is have chili nachos tonight. I was gonna do chili cheese fries, but we're kind of not feeling potato. And we had some nachos, so we're gonna have those. I'm gonna put some like low reduced fat kind of like cheese on mine. Aaron's gonna have normal, and I'm very excited about it. I literally cannot wait. I've just put a layer of the chips on the bottom, a scoop or two of the chili on top, and then on mine, I've put 40 grams of reduced fat cheese, and now it's time to bung it in the oven. Hey guys, it's been a bit of a something and nothing day. Lots of work being done, which is great, but I've felt really gross. I don't know if this is cold or whatever, but Aaron has made dinner and it smells amazing. So let's take a look. Hi. Again, hair. Sorry, yeah, we'll both Literally look like- I got out of the shower a minute ago <laughs> and now I haven't done anything with my hair. I had some potatoes, I had a couple of sausages, onion, and a bit of red cabbage, weirdly. Made a bit of a, like a rub type style thing to go on top of it and I've just baked it. It's just a tray full of carb and goop, which is what Lou wants at the moment. This looks fab. Uh, not feeling great. I needed some potato-y carb. Here we go. Let's give it a whirl. Mmm. That's good. So I finished dinner and really fancied some pudding. And we had a sponge pudding left over from Christmas because they sent us six. We needed one. Anyway, that's the whole thing. So we thought we'd have that with some custard. It was the first time I would have had sugar since like the 1st of January. And I feel weird. I actually feel weird. I, my arms feel tingly. <laughs> my mouth feels sticky. I feel a bit weird. I, can de I definitely feel like I've had something really sugary because I, fe I feel a bit weird. Yeah. How do you feel? Weird. Good afternoon. Uh, it is the next day and last night's dinner was... It was amazing, P. You're absolutely right. It was really good. Aaron's like tray bake combo. Delish. So I'm actually going to use some of the leftover potatoes today for lunch. I haven't had any breakfast because I was still quite full from yesterday. So I'm just going to make like chili cheese fries with the leftover potatoes. I'm just going to bung them in this little baking dish, bung some of the leftover chili on, bit of cheese, put in the oven so everything's melted. Perfect lunch. We're out and about. I'm just taking the girls out for a very wintry walk today. It's kind of like a bit snowy. Well, it was this morning. It looked amazing, absolutely freezing, but we're gonna go get some steps in. Let's go. Today I'm actually feeling a bit better, which is brilliant. Still feel like, just got like a little bit of a cold going on, but I actually feel okay. I'm trying to live more without guilt, which is really hard when it comes to food. I don't know if you guys do it as well. Food kind of is, becomes your world. It can be really difficult to not reward yourself with food, not punish yourself with food. I used to struggle with that a lot. Don't waste your time doing that. Put that energy into being happy. That's what I'm trying to do. Or into something creative. I'm trying anyway. Week one. Losing those two pounds, great start. Kicking the sugar, love that. Week two, 
lost three pounds. Still no sugar. Yes, me. Week three, I felt rubbish. <laughs> um, had some not great food choices and had that sponge pudding last night. Totally not worth it. Didn't make me feel good and didn't taste that great. So it was a bit something or nothing. But new day. So this week's steps, obviously at the beginning of this journey, we'll call it a journey, it's a life journey, I suppose. At the beginning I said I was gonna start on 5,000 and then every week kind of like up it. So the first week, smash that every day, was doing like eight, nine, 10,000 steps. Great. There was one day where I did about 6,000, but I was actually working that day, so understandable, I suppose. So last week I was, aiming for 5,500, which I did apart from the odd day where I felt absolutely awful and didn't even do 5,000. So that wasn't great. But this week I'm over my 6,000 steps each day. So that's great. I'm quite happy to every week put an extra like 500 on and get up to that 10,000 and then take it from there. Something else to mention, which I felt is a real success of last week. Now this is gonna sound really silly. I don't know. I felt like it was like a non-scale victory. Is my ankles. I started noticing that, and even Aaron noticed last week, I'm starting to get a bit of shape there. I think because I'm actually using them and working them, it's burning off any chubs on them. Cows are over there today. Hello, mate. Oh my God, it's a little one. What? Hi, little one. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's another little baby one over there. Oh, he's moving. Look how small he is, he's so small. They are cute. So we're just gonna carry on with our walk, leave them to it, and head back to the car. in the kitchen I'm trying out a new recipe it's kind of my first go giving it like a proper go and I think it's gonna need tinkering with but yeah we're doing Hunter's chicken rice it's nearly finished I got to like let the rice do its thing chuck the chicken in and a little bit of cheese I'm excited it smells amazing fingers crossed it tastes great it's come out of the oven it looks super cheesy it actually looks pretty good so let's give it a go so I've just sprinkled on some parsley and popped on a little drizzle of barbecue sauce, it is ready for eating. So it looks pretty good. It's gonna be hotter than hell. Let's get this cheesy bit. It is steaming. Mmm, mmm. Do you know what it reminds me of? One of those Uncle, ben, <laughs> Uncle Ben's packets or Mr. Ben's or whatever they're called now. It kind of tastes a bit like the Mexican rice one, just without the heat. It's pretty good. I'll just a bit. <laughs> it's pretty tasty though. I like it. My favourite parts are the crispy bits of rice around the edge that are kind of almost burnt but not quite. They're kind of gone all crispy and then chewy. It's nice. And the, uh, the well, you stick bacon in anything and cheese on top of it. Everything's good, right? Hot than hell, it's like magma. It is much later and we're just doing a little bit of shopping. We've gone to Sainsbury's. We do have a 20 pound voucher for Sainsbury's and we've not shopped here in a very, 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 very long time. So we'll give it a go. The humble sprout. Now you could have a sprout or you could have Aaron-sized sprouts. <laughs> That's like a Hulk sprout. 
not being funny, but this is like Aaron's size section. Oh, for a cup of tea. <laughs> and a biscuit. And a biscuit. Wow. So after making that um, like chicken kebab in the sauce my Aunt Linda gave us from the sauce shop, which was a total hit, we've actually just found some in Sainsbury's, so we're getting some more. They actually do some really cool looking jams too. Yum. Okay, Sainsbury's shop done. Got more stuff than we needed, but it was good I could use my vouchers. And now, back to the car. So we're finishing this week's vlog exactly how we started it, on another lush walk in the forest. It's actually been a good week this week, hasn't it? Well, apart from you feeling really rubbish. Yeah, that's true. I have felt pretty <laughs> ropey. Um, I feel a little better today, but it's been, it's been an up and down week, shall we say. Um, but you've cooked me some amazing food this week. Oh, well, you know, I think it was a bit carb heavy. Maybe we'll need to address that part at some point. But uh, yeah, no, it was all right. It was just what I needed. I needed carb comfort food. Yeah. And um, that chilli, that tray bakey thing, that was top notch too. So, thanks. <laughs> that was literally just bung together. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> uh, vlog free, done and dusted. Like, subscribe and get notified was... <laughs> a thing I was trying. Does it work? I don't think it does. <laughs> I love it. Maybe a bit more like gusto with it next oh, yeah. time. Like, subscribe, get notified. There we go. I love that. Oh, okay. Even better. Um, and um, we'll see you next time, guys. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> you want to say goodbye? You say goodbye to everybody. Say bye, everybody. <laughs> bye. It's the best walk I've ever been on. <laughs>